Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. As you can see, I do have the front of the vehicle off of it. It makes it a whole lot easier because we are going to, you know, changing the lights. Plus, the radiator is busted right here. As you can tell, you can see it's wet in this right now. So we do have to take the radiator off. And then we've already changed the uh, ICM board. So that's a brand new board there. We got that on there, but we haven't tightened them up that they're supposed to be tightened to. We haven't got to that process yet. Uh, and then we will be changing the uh, bar here on top. Plus the, uh, let's see, there's one there. And it looks like there might be one on that side that needs to be replaced. I can't tell what's messed up right there, but you can see that bar right there is messed up. So that could be from the whole front of it. Um, well, that might be the whole rod right there on that bottom part that needs to be changed. You see that piece right there. That, uh, yeah, that piece right there that is out sticking out too far. That piece will probably have to be changed too. And then we go underneath here and look. Yeah, see that piece right there will have to be changed because that looks like the rubber piece is going on it. I cannot tell if turn the flashlight on. Uh, it is awfully off though. And that is the bottom arm. So that will probably have to be changed to... It looks like there is some oil leaking. I'm right there. What is that? Uh, might be a crack there, but I don't know. But on this light, that there is a a screw that's right here. That goes back here. There's a nut, 10 millimeter. Now you will have to take this uh, wheel piece off so you can get your hand up in there to get to that screw. If you're, you know, you're changing the light bulbs. If you're not, then you can actually, you know, take the bottom piece off of the car, the bottom plastic piece, and you can reach up here and change the light bulbs. But if you have to change the whole bulb, then yes, you have to take off the whole plastic piece around it. And then this shield right here to, you have to bend that out and get all the pieces out of it. And then there is like a whole bunch of them in here. Uh, we have two, I have one more right here I can get out. And then I can get my hand back in there and get it, get my hand in here and then get that uh, 10, mil, 10 millimeter in there and get it out. But then, let's see, what else? And then this front motor mount. Will need to be changed too, probably. That's right about here. Uh, but you can definitely tell the radiator has been leaking. And it's busted right about... Right about there, where that spot is. And so you can tell it's been leaking quite a bit. But the... the uh, plastic piece, piece was hiding the fluid so you couldn't really tell it was it was coming down see there's that motor mount right there that will have to be changed and then right, see there was something else too there's another motor mount I think on the back side over here that will need to be changed too and see that one is not too bad it's not Totally out of whack like the other side is. See that one's way out of whack. Yeah. Yes, we're definitely a lot to work on this. And then we got to figure out what's making the belt tear down. As you can tell, it's tearing apart. So we gotta figure out why. 
doing that what's eating it what's causing it to be eaten well I think it might be that one too because it's more shine to it than there it could be this one too I won't tell until we can get it a little bit more detail look at it we have a lot of more work to do but at least you can see we got the front of it off and there is a screw nut like this that is underneath the corner pocket it's in this little spot right here now you you can go through like i said you can go through over here and go up underneath here and you can see that screw so it is very very a pain in the butt but if you're just changing the headlights you can go underneath it where the plastic piece is and change the headlights but if you're changing the whole thing then yes, you will have to take pretty much the whole front of the car apart. And take the uh, mud flaps off too, on the sides almost. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.